Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail back with more Kerbal Space Program, where this time we're going to be doing some probing missions after last episode's harrowing man flights. The space program has decided to shift course, go towards interplanetary travel, and as I said in a previous episode, I am doing career mode straight up here. So what that means is that before I can do a man flight to a planet, I need to have a probe successfully go into orbit around it. So I do. I am going to be sending probes to everywhere in the Kerbal system. First to Duna, then Moho, then Drez, then Eve, then Jewel, then Elo. As you can see by these approximate launch windows that I calculated using some resources I'll throw in the description, feel free to pause and mark it down. So this is the Duna probe going to be going up first. You can see the basic asparagus design that I have here. I do have one different engine in the middle. It's a slightly weaker one, but it does have thrust vectoring, so that does help my scent control significantly. Now this one should have enough delta V to get the Duna, but the first and most important part is actually getting it up into orbit. So we're not going to be doing full orbit videos for everything here, but you can see I am having some wobbly controls. Thrust vectoring works okay, but it's easier when my engines are symmetrical. But so far things are going okay. It is a nighttime launch, so there's not as much to see other than bright flaring lights. Now what you may see on the back of that there is the main probe body has four LV909s attached to a bunch of unit or a bunch of fuel tanks and that's going to be what gets most of the inner space travel here we are getting through the big engines first just to try and get it there i was a little worried about my apoapsis but this is four times time accelerated and if the seconds are going down that slowly at four times speed pretty much i'm good enough to make it here until i realize oh wait my fuel's about to run out so if i can just make it up here I'm still burning at a pretty high angle, and I do adjust it just a little bit because uh, even though, okay, so I do have a bit of a lurch there as I realize, oh wait, I don't have any fuel. Now I'm having to burn fuel that I was hoping to use on interplanetary travel. May need to tweak my design for this a little bit, but the most important thing is that I should have enough to get at least to Duna with no problem. Some of the further reaches could be bigger issues, but at least right now the orbit is going okay. It's going to be uh, the LV-99, one of their great calling cards is that they are super, super efficient. And I do have fuel lines in place, so we do the quick orbital adjustment maneuver node here. But I do have fuel lines in place so that that last engine that's in the middle will be the one that has all the fuel remaining as we go on. So this is the Duna probe. I will be launching it there very shortly. And uh, if you hadn't heard recently in the news, uh, India has actually launched a probe to orbit uh, the moon here and I did find it pretty fascinating when you compare it to Kerbal Space Program a Duna trip if you get it at the best trajectory takes around 90 days usually my uh, windows take a bit longer than 90 days but in real life actual life to get to Mars uh, it's what is it they have to make a burn for their course correction to fly towards Mars and I keep wanting to call it Duna because it's Kerbal Space Program real life uh, they have to burn by November 30th so just think of waiting a few days and then on top of that they have to be in flight for nearly a year like over 300 days so a little bit of orbital science yeah it's all plenty convenient but one thing to appreciate at least from a gameplay standpoint is that everything is much smaller scale so you don't have to wait for nearly as long but I am going ahead and moving the maneuver node here gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking but it's I do actually get an encounter pretty quickly and actually kind of on the other side of the Sun which is nice if I can just somehow hold on to it probably need to just adjust here and if there's one thing I'd love to see squad fix it's being able to better click grab the maneuver nodes from further out so you don't have to constantly manipulate it like this but I'm really really close and I just really really screw up here so show a little bit more of the maneuver node action than maybe I usually do but I do get a Duna encounter and I promptly obliterate it so there we go my mouse for all the times that I've had my mouse here I still do have some double clicking issues but yeah, this is, if you kind of want to know how adjusting maneuver nodes works, there you go. But we do have our interplanetary probe. I eventually just say F it. I have an encounter. I can do a mid-course correction later. You're not going to get it right the first time. Even in real life, uh, people don't get it right the first time. That's why a lot of these probes, a lot of these rockets do allow for mid-course correction. But here we go. Going to be doing our burn out around, I think it's around 1,000 delta V. So we're a little bit over budget considering that total delta V included actually escaping. Um, or we're a little over budget if only because I don't know. But still we do have a flight here. We do have, ideally you want to actually have the uh, encounter occur on the opposite side of the sun but we're a little bit further out. But still the important thing is I have plenty of fuel. I'm going to be ditching the other fuel tanks in a little bit. But we're going to be making it to 
ye old Duna here. So I put out my solar panels and this one is just going to be flying about. And you're going to see there's a lot of simultaneous flights going on in this video. And this is done without alarm clock or any of those kind of mods, which are really nice. So this next one, the next window is Moho. And Moho, oh man, this took a little bit of extra designing work here. I did have some obliterated, destroyed um, spacecraft, but they were all probes. So fortunately, no Kerbals were killed in the mission. But the most important thing is that I start with the solid state boosters. That gives me some extra oomph. I actually do not have a thrust vectoring engine in the middle, so that's for some extra oomph. The solid state boosters burn really quickly, and I actually have to ditch my asparagus staging in a weird, weird point here. And you can see I start to lose control just a little bit. There is, I lose the wings as well. So this is a uh, much, much tougher ship to fly. As you can see, there is a significant amount of rotation. It's taken me a lot just to get this back in control. This is actually the first time I attempted to fly with uh, the solid boosters on there. But you can see my orbit's not perfect, but it's not awful. It could be way worse. And with enough burn, I should be able to fix it. Uh, the other important thing is that some of my engines, when I ditch them, actually do collide with each other below me and make explosions, but you don't get to see that in this video. So this is uh, what you have to do to get more Delta V, because I need 5,000. I need a lot of oomph to get to Moho. Moho is hard to get to because it is close to the sun. There's some orbital mechanics that are really interesting here. And I can see right away I am not getting enough. I'm going to be crossing my apoapsis and crossing back into here. So I decide at the last moment here to uh, make a very fortuitous decision, and that is to cut on my other engines. And there we go. One second left. Barely, barely made it, and everything is pushing back out. Maybe if I had done my asparagus staging a little bit better, I could have gotten a little more efficiency, but for now, I'm using precious, precious fuel that I'm going to need for Moho. But right now, at least the extra fuel is going to give me some efficiency here, so I'm going to skip a little bit more of the encounter encountering here, but Moho is tough to get because it is fast. It orbits the uh, sun very quickly, and it's on an incline, and inclines are not always easy to hit, so I actually try and do something that's at a similar plane. To Kerbal, and I do manage to get an encounter somehow, some way. Though this is a pretty heavy burn that I have to do, and I'm not super great on my fuel here. So about 1,400 delta V. Here's the burn anyway, and we're just shooting straight from Moho. Hopefully, I can get it because keep in mind, if you're still burning at the uh, maneuver node, that's just an estimate of where you're going. That doesn't necessarily mean you're going to hit it, even if you burn exactly. Now, if you're using something like Mechjeb or uh, other flight mods, that will help you get kind of the exact push, but. I don't use them, and it's not because I'm like super cool or special, it's just to be honest because I haven't done too much modding with Kerbal Space Program, but you can see here, there's the mid-course correction for uh, this ship as well. So now we have a Moho encounter at 7 million kilometers away, and then we get to the Drez Pro because it's all flying here. You saw from the launch windows before, the Duna and Moho probes are going to take some time to get to their destinations. So we do lose our solid state boosters again. And we're going to see if we can maybe have a smoother launch here. So like I said, this is the space program's focus right now. We want to try and get to all the planets. It's not... Whoa! That's not the way we want to fly! What the F am I doing? That is so much rotation. That's uh, that's not good. Anyway, the uh, space program is trying to get out of everything they can. Now, flights to Joule and flights to Elo can take over a year. They can take a really damn long time. Flight to Dres can take a really long time too, but at least for now, just trying to get up there. I, because of all that wasted fuel, it does take me a lot more work to get up there, but eventually I do. And then playing with the maneuver node here, I realize, uh-oh, my uh, calculator that I used online did not give me great information. Apparently, I screwed something up somewhere along the lines. And my, uh, I did miss my window for getting to Dres. So this is where we're at right now. And apparently we're just switching back to the Mar or the Duna thing here. And like I said, this is jumping around a little bit for me because I have to do this all at once here. And right now I'm just shooting for course corrections. I do have one probe that's orbiting Kerbin, and that's going to be going to Dres eventually or somewhere else, but it's going to have to wait on a window. I have a quick course adjustment just to try and get things closer uh, to Duna, and this is a plane adjustment here. And I could probably be doing one even closer in, but notice I only have to do like 10 delta V maybe for the adjustment there. So I go ahead and get that in. I'm going to switch to the Moho 
one next because we're getting close to our moho encounter now so quick loading here like I said it's all interesting and this is a weird bug that came I came across a few times and now everything's saying 666 number of the beast I've had this bug actually a few times I've had some ships spontaneously combust and I don't really like that so after fighting some bugs I do eventually get closer to moho and you can see it's coming in from on top of me because yeah that's what we're doing here so fighting bugs flying to get to moho I have precious little fuel and you're gonna see what I mean here because moho is not very big it doesn't have a very huge gravity well you can see actually the game kind of screwing up a little bit with my encounter saying now the encounter is gonna be happening further away than it was that's not really what I wanted and then it hopped back and said now I have an encounter so zooming in right here you can barely see what moho looks like it's just a little dot up there in the middle of the screen but it's gonna take me how much Delta V 4,000 Delta V to actually slow this shit down enough to be in orbit and this is a very very far orbit so I try to get in the science that I can because there's plenty of it I do have my solar panels out there super effective from this distance because now I'm not having weird bugs happen and this is still an early release so bugs will happen but I do burn 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 I'm eventually on my one ship ditching my other fuel pods does give me some extra goodies here but I am super low on fuel it's cutting it really close and then there we go I just need a tiny orbit it doesn't have to be perfect or anything but I am orbiting moho which actually this is the first time I've ever been to moho in this game so some new flights for me here some breaking new ground I do have some familiar with Kerbal Space Program but not a lot but here's my first closer sunrise on moho I did not have enough fuel to necessarily make this a um, a close buzzing encounter but my bigger goal was just to get there so we can see more science more information from just above guess what it's hot this is the mercury equivalent which I wonder if that means there's actually water to be found in the craters as well which is more than likely because on the dark side of even mercury it is still still ridiculously cold but I mean that could also be a sign of whether there's volcanic activity or not I mean it's a it's an open question but there's moho I mean you can Wikipedia to see this mercury have volcanic activity I actually can't remember off the top of my head whether it's a dead core or not but there we go there's moho and then we're gonna be ending this edition of this with a uh, let's see there's gonna be some course adjustments to do now here's my second one and if I'm remembering right my window for Eve is gonna be starting to open up soon so I'm gonna have to launch a probe to Eve more than likely very shortly before I get to uh, Duna. So there's the Eve probe. Like I said, you just got to be on top of this. An additional launch. You can see my Drez probe actually orbiting. And I could have used the Drez probe to get to Eve. Eve requires less Delta V. And I did have a pretty massive screw up uh, with just trying to adjust things. You can see the, uh, uh, the Drez probe is not on a planar orbit. That's intentional because I was trying to fling myself out of there. But right now, getting the hang of this a little bit better. This is the exact same uh, ship that I used to try and do my Moho and Drez uh, thingamabobs. Or excuse me, this is the same one as Duna. Because Eve doesn't have that many Delta V requirements. So I do have the thrust vectoring there. Makes life a little bit easier for me until I realize, uh-oh, I do not have a lot of oomph. I'm going to be running out of space here momentarily. And somehow my launch is not going nearly as smoothly as it did last time because I'm not even above 30,000. Four, three, two, what are we going to do? One, got to fire the other engines and look at what happens. This is one of the most ridiculous things I've seen. My other engine is not only still firing, but it's actually pushing into the back of my ship. And not only is my ship not exploding, but it actually gave, it gave the velocity that it should have. So great job, squad, for doing that. And thank you for not making me, my ship blow up. But we do have... Just a quick even counter. It actually is not in an ideal location at all. Really far around the orbit. So I maybe could have waited a little bit longer to go in the window. But I wanted to try and hit it right. So we are just going to do a, a quick burn. A retrograde burn, I believe is what you call it. Which you want to go against the momentum of the planet to try and go inside. So just a quick zoom around Kerbal. Or Kerbin. Kerbal is the sun. Kerbin is the planet. And without much further ado, it's going to be time for me to fling myself into the center of the stars. And right here, how many, or we're going to have most of the inner planets probed or nearing a probe. Drez is going to come eventually. Moho, I somehow barely, barely made it. Eve's going to have an encounter. That is an ugly, ugly encounter, but 
it's still an encounter, so I'll take it. So let's just go ahead and move on down. And what do we got? Just a quick encounter, and you gotta remember here that sometimes you gotta remove the notes just to make sure whether you have an encounter. I do, you can tell by the wobbly numbers. And what do we got now? Just in time for us to approach Duna. And Duna was a very fascinating thing for me to approach because I wanted to try an arrow capture, but Duna has a very, very, very low atmosphere. So you can see me trying to adjust for an arrow capture. And I get one. Oh boy, I get one. And part of this is to try and get science closer to the surface because you can actually do things like temperature scans and air pressure scans when you get low enough. But the atmosphere doesn't really start until 10,000. You can see I'm way too aggressive here. And in fact, my ship is currently on a collision course, so I burn straight up, which is a weird move in a way because you usually, when you try and do an orbit, you try and burn towards your periaps, towards straight forward. But right there, I burned straight up. It was a good move. I'm ditching my fuel lines right there into the canyon. And just pretty much get a simple orbit here, and that's all she's going to write. I do manage to have this probe survive, so now in this video I have successfully probed Moho, I've successfully probed Duna, not Drez yet, and I have a probe on the way to Eve, so next time it's going to be hopefully Drez again, Jewel as well, and Elo, which Elo I have not visited, it's the other place in this game I haven't visited along with the moons. So it's going to be interesting to see that next time, but for now this is Way to Fail with Kerbal Space Program. We're probing before we go in for landing, so this is a necessary part of career mode, lots of science to be had, there's our orbit. And that's going to be it for this episode for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, like, or make suggestions for my designs in the future, or missions as well. That's it for now. See you next time.